Start your day with It's the Business. Here's Phil Dobby. Well, the retail landscape is changing. There's no doubt about that. We want deliveries. Will we ever get back to the high street? Well, Sainsbury's results yesterday showed there is a cost in sending stuff out. And we all know about the sharp move to online. Sainsbury's saw it with groceries, but also with their Argos stores. Online sales at Argos increased 68% and driven, I think, by click and collect services. Because as you point out, it's been much easier for people to pick up items while doing their essential grocery shops. We'll hear from Susanna Streeter from Hargreaves Lansdowne today about those Sainsbury's results yesterday and if people are going to get back into the shops, well we've got to make it easy for them and that might mean we shop more whilst using apps on our mobile phones perhaps. What we've seen is that the basket sizes on Mishif Pay are much higher than the store averages already without us even actively pushing too many offers towards them because they have a real view of what they're buying right normally when you have a trolley you only know towards the end so if you're trying to budget in your mind you're controlling yourself with Mishipi, when you're scanning, you know exactly what you're buying at every point in the journey. Mustafa Kanwala is the CEO of Mishipay, a company that enables you to scan and go at many stores around the world, so no queue for the checkout. Is that part of the future? And if it is, does that mean retailers will employ less people or will they be able to use people to actually give you help in stores, which, let's face it, in department stores has been virtually impossible for years, part of the reason for their decline, perhaps? Of course, it wasn't always like this. Where's Mr. Humphrey? Is he free? I'm free. <laughs> Good God, there's a blast from the past. It's Thursday, the 29th of April, 2021. Good morning. And now, it's the business making sense of it all with Phil Dobby.